in the next 10 minutes, I will be showing you how to harness the power of the Octane Render Dirt Texture node in Blender. This will be your key to elevating your materials to the next level. So, sit down, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so here we are inside Blender Octane Edition. So uh, let's create a new material here, a new universal shader, and uh, let's create a dirt node, a dirt texture node. So here we are. And uh, let's press Control Shift click here. As you can see, we got this kind of dirt texture on the cavities. So uh, here we got this strange to control the strange of the of the effect, we got the details. So if we take this, if we, if we bring this up, we're going to spread the effect far from the corners. But if we bring this down, we're going to keep the effects in, inside the corners or inside the cavities. And then we got also the radius. Control the the radius of the of the effect. So in, in a similar way of the to the spread. We got also the radius map, but I'm not gonna mess with this right now. I'm gonna leave this to the to the end. And we got also the spread. You can see that if we bring this down, we are concentrating the effect here, but if we spread it, we'll want to make it smoother and bigger. And we got here the distribution. And uh, here we got this really ugly polygon effect. I don't know if you can see it, but if this happens to you, we're going to fix this by increasing the tolerance and we'll bring back this clean uh, result. Okay. We got also the uh, bias, which is according to the documentation is uh, you can determine the direction of the inverted cone, such the dirt effect with the bias control and blah, blah, blah. X, Y, Z uh, vector. Okay, so here we got the X, the Y, and the Z axis to control the, the bias, which will work together with the distribution. Okay, so uh, I'm going to increase the strength of this a bit. And uh, if I bring this up, you can see what happens here. Look. Okay, and we can see that if we change the distribution, it's in some way it, it it becomes like normal but when I take this up we can see that the effect is like stretching stretching in the x axis same with the with the uh, y axis and the z axis okay and uh, also we got we can change the the coordinates of the of the bias in normal space. We got the world space, normal space, world space, and object space. So well, you can uh, mess with this until you got the result that you're looking for. So I'm gonna leave this in uh, normal space, and uh, this is an important uh, an important option. The Include object mode. So, for example, if I create here, um, I'm going to create a sphere. So, uh, as you can see here, we can see that the sphere is creating a dirt uh, effect here. Okay. So, let's put this in zero. So, uh, if you want to avoid this, we will change this to self okay and that the, the the dirt texture will be only applied to the geometry of the object but if you want to have only the dirt texture on the these edges on the intersection of both of these we can change this to others okay and we will see that the dirt disappears from the the main object and will only be on the intersection of both of these. 
and uh, of course if you want both effects just leave this in all also we can invert this uh, effect to concentrate the, the dirt on the on the corners on the on the outside of the of the model so uh, let's make this uh, self and actually let me delete this okay and uh, okay so the the good thing about radius map if that is that if i take if i import this texture and i connect this here um voila we got this really nice dirt texture that is being taken by our texture so you can bring whatever texture whatever you want here and connect it to the radius map and you will have this really nice uh, effect you can also connect uh, a fractal noise texture or a cell noise texture and uh, it will work in the same way okay so now we want to take these dirt textures and let's create a really cool material okay so uh, i'm going to add here a projection and the uv transform node and let's bring the scale down to something like 0.4 awesome and then let's click on invert normal and let's break with the radius and the spread uh, go to the radius spread all right and okay and let's plug this here invert texture all right and let's reconnect this material output to the surface and uh, now let's connect this to the albedo and uh, we got the really nice result so uh, maybe maybe let's bring down the, the radius a bit more okay and uh, actually I'm going to teach you a really cool trick let's create a composite texture okay and let's add uh, these two slots okay and uh, let's add a noise or fractal noise texture here okay we got this and uh, let's add here a uv transform and uv projection and uh, let's bring the scale down to something like 0.3 and connect this to the input now let's bring this here and connect this to the second input and right here let's make this um, multiply and as you can see actually not multiply actually add and uh, Let's add here a gradient map. All right, so as you can see, and uh, if we go here to the texture, to the dirt texture and connect this to the radius map, and uh, we, will we will be able to control this effect with, the, with this grading map, okay? So, let me take this. So, I'm just creating like some kind of patches here. As we can see here. So, maybe feather this a bit. Alright. So, you can play with this until you got a... Uh, good result so let's continue and uh, okay we got this and uh, let's create a gradient map and plug this here and let's make this blue like this blue let's make it darker okay and okay I like this and uh, now let me move this here and uh, we're going to connect this invert texture to this metallic okay so in this way we'll got these metallic edges here 
And actually, let me add here like a black, almost black color. Okay. And okay, we're good with this. And let's press shift, right click, and let's make a line here to connect this. And uh, let's add here a gradient map. Okay. Just to control this a bit more. All right. Okay, it's looking really, really nice. And uh, let's connect this to the vamp. Okay, just to create like a really subtle edge effect here. Oh, I don't know if if this is completely visible. But let's add here a gradient map. Okay. Let's bring this here. Okay. Okay, this is looking really nice. And uh, finally, let's add, uh, let's connect this uh, material to the roadness. So let me take this here, connect it, connect the, connect it, sorry, <laughs> to the roadness and break this back. Okay. And uh, let's add another gradient map. Okay. And let's trace another little line here. So shift, right click. Okay, press G to move this, okay, like this, and uh, okay. All right, and uh, let's bring this down. Okay, so we got this, like, this really good roadness effect, like a dirty effect, okay. And okay, I think this is looking really nice. Now, the final touch to our... Uh, to our material is to add like some dirt effect. Okay, so for this, we will going to add another dirt node. Okay, dirt texture. And uh, we're going to take our, our uh, texture here. I don't know where is my, my point, but let me create another. Oh, here it is. Here it is. And uh, let's press G, move this up. And uh, let's connect this to the radius map. Okay. Awesome. Let's increase the strange and maybe inc the detail a bit. And uh, let's bring up the tolerance to fix the polygon issue. And uh, maybe, I don't know, let's put this in one and increase the distribution. All right. Okay, I like this. And uh, finally, let's add a uh, diffuse material. And uh, let's make this really dark, like some, like a uh, dirt color. Okay, not too much, maybe like this. Uh, let's reconnect this. Let's press Shift A and let's add a mix material. All right. Uh, let's connect this here. And uh, the real trick of this will come with the dirt texture. So let's connect this to the mouse. Okay. Now, um, voila. Here we got this really nice dirt effect on the on the cavities of this uh, of this model. Dear artist. Thank you for joining me today. If you found value in this content, please consider liking and subscribing. Until the next time and keep creating.